Is it really possible to create an NFT video using artificial intelligence like this and also this? Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about that. How can you create one NFT video generator using artificial intelligence and Python? And one more interesting thing that is I am just deep here on common. It's called last human on earth. So at the last of the video, we are going to generate in this video also how our AI actually give us the output. So now without any further ado, so let's get started. So how you run the shell for the first time. So make sure that you need to go on the runtime and change your runtime type should the in the GPU. So by default in my case is GPU here. Just go and click it to save it, right? So this is the first shell, you need to just run it here. So this shell is nothing but for NVIDIA SMI. It will actually configure your NVIDIA GPU on your system. Okay, just click it to OK. And now uh, this is the license for under the MIT. Okay, just you need to actually run this shell and you can see here working directory and your working directory is nothing but your content. That's mean this is your content here. So it is your working directory. So now you can check your GPU. That's which GPU you are trying to use here. So you can also run this shell here. So you can see your NVIDIA SMI L and you can see here this is our GPU. You uh, actually set it here runtime as a GPU. That's why it showed me the free GPU by the Google Cola. So now it's time to actually install the library that is needed here. So this is the library that is needed to actually I'm making this NFT BD generator. So just you need to actually run this shell. Okay, so it will actually downloading the clip and also the record the Python AI library that is needed here. So now it's time to actually select the model here. So selection of the model to be downloaded. So this is the model that is actually performing in the best way. So that's why you can select. So this is mostly similar to my before video of the how can you generate the images using the AI. So this is mostly like that, but there's some difference between them. There is difference because in this part, you can actually give here some zoom or you can, you can also make it some, you can rotate it. You can also give here the translations. You can change the angle of your video. But in the before video, you actually generate the images and also the video, but you cannot actually change your angle or the direction of the video, right? So that's why it is quite different from that. So after installing all the library, you need to also run the shell, selecting the model for that. I just put it, is it MSNet16384, this is the best model, that's why I select it. So also run this shell here. Okay, so it will take few seconds to actually downloading all the PQS library and also the model. So it will actually download the model here, so that's why. Well, it will downloading the model from the internet. And now it's time to loading the library of the Python library that's for neural network library that is needed here to actually building this uh, NFT, okay? So it will actually installing all the library from the internet one by one. And now it's time to actually setting up the artificial intelligence animator. Okay, this is a shell for that. So now you can see here some parameter for the model and you can see a 12 frame equal to one second. That's in one second you to generate the 12 frame. So using this frame, you can actually generate on video for that. So now what I can do, you need to actually change the parameter of that. So you can see width and the height of the images and maximum frame should be 300. That's mean you can actually choose the maximum frame should be 300. And you can see a parameter of the animating. So this is the parameter that is not available in my before video. So you can see a text promote a beautiful fantasy land forest standing on the air station, art station. So now what I can do, we can change the angle of that video or the photo and you can give here some zoom or the translation of the x coordinate and also the y coordinate so you can just run it by default so you can get one result like that you you get before in my before video so now we can change the angle and also the zooming of the video so that it looks like animated okay so now what you can do i am going to first change the angle of that so let's say choose the angle from the 10 frame number frame 10 so after the 10 frame, so what I can do, we are going to actually make this one should be the zero. And also how I need to go to the 20 number frame, that's in frame number 20. We are going to actually change this, uh, this frequency should be in the five. That's mean it will actually giving here some kind of animation after the five seconds, okay? Or five, five frame, after the five frame, like that. So now after the 30 frame, we are going to make it same, okay? Make it same, so let's the 30 to the 5 
and also let's make it 40 to the uh, we are going to fast let's say in the, in the 40 we are going to actually make it rotations so for that what you can do you can use here the minus so let's say minus 5 and now after the 50 frame we are going to make it again in the same frame okay so that's why we are going to use here 5 50 and 0 okay so now let's go so this is for the angle so now you can also do it the same thing for our zoom ratio so for there let's say for the 15 frame we are going to make it some um give here some zoom so let's say give here one and after the 60 frame let's say we are going to give here the zoom as one point let's say one point let's say six seven or let's say one point zero six we are going to make it okay so let's say 60 to the 50 frame and for the 60 frame so just give here some zoom you can also play with them and you can generate the images or generate the video for that so this is the translation of the x and the translation of y you can also change your y axis so let's make it changes let's make it uh, 12 or uh, let's change it for the translation of the 20 frame let's say again make it zero okay like that so if i run the shell here just run the shell okay in uh, name initialize image is not defined so okay i think i need to also run this shell right then we can actually run this shell here so that's why we got this error so now i think our error is gone okay so now we can we can actually running uh, the ai animator so just fire up the ai just enter shift enter and it will generating images for that in animating way then what you can do we can actually uh, creating the animation you can also see the animation here so now let's see uh, how many times it's taken here so if i go on this folder and you can see here a step folder is already here <laughs> and it will actually store the images right so you can see a beautiful fantasy land forest and trending on earth stations that you see on the showcase okay it is starting generating the picture of that okay cool and you can see here just start the generating the images for that so if you go in the steps and you can see your images is saved right wow that's really cool and you can see uh, how the images looks like that's really awesome wow boom uh, right now so now we can actually stop this prop you can also run it for the 200 or 300 like that so now i'm going to actually stop it okay just go up and i'm trying to actually click here to stop this and you can see here the restart runtime and click at the yes so now what i can do i just go on the last shell so this is for the du animations so our last frame images is nothing but the 125 so let's make it 125 and just run the shell here and it will actually generate in the video right so it will take few seconds yeah it actually show it because i actually generated these images videos before so that's why uh, this shell is not going so it will actually running the shell here so just give here the few seconds to run the shell so it will actually initializing this shell that's why I think it also generating the images or the last time let's see okay not it has stopped 127 okay not in 100 so now let's run this shell here and see uh, name tqdm is not defined here I think I need to run the shell for the past time from the past shell so let's run this because I stopped this shell so that's why so I think I need to also run those shell so this one and this one and I need to set up this shell animator. I think we need to run this shell here for the running the AI animator. Just running the shell that is required and also run this shell. Okay. Stop it. Okay, see uh, which one is actually running. I think it will actually installing all the libraries again. So I'm going to just pause the video right now here so well it will running correctly see it generated the video or not yep it generating the video and also 
it will take few seconds to generating for the 127 images by default let's see here 124 so this video is now being compressed writing it will take few seconds to actually compress the video in your video format then you can actually show it in the browsers okay okay so our video is ready so just shift enter to see the video okay so you can also uh, download this video in this format so just see the video in the browser you just need to run the shell here so it will take few seconds to actually loading the video on your browsers you can also download it and you can show it on your uh, your windows media player so just you can see a video dot mp4 just click and right click and download this this is nothing but 5.3 mb just so unfortunately uh, my narrow connection is disconnected so because of i am using my mobile phone hotspot so that's one call is coming so that's going disconnected so now this shell is running and it will take few seconds to actually load the video in your browser so just wait for that okay so our video is uh, ready if i click here and you can see here the animation how it looks like wow that's boom how the animation is looks like that's really cool the zoom and the translations okay that's really awesome and this is really cool right so we can also download this here so just shift enter and it will downloading this uh, video as a file oh my god my run time is again allocated okay shift enter and it will downloading the video for that and it will take few seconds to actually download the video and you can see download it and you can also see it in your media player of your windows and you can see how it look like that's really cool See how zoom and how it looks like and how it animated that's really awesome and that's really cool okay so now i am going to run the command for last human on earth that you see the first of the video last human on earth and i already fired up the ai and ai is trying to generate this kind of picture uh last human on earth see how it's actually generated okay so this is the images that is generated by AI. So we are going to generate the 100 images for that. Okay. So see and wait for the 100 epochs. So after the 100 epoch and you can see here this is right now 110 so i got these images like that for the last human on the earth so now what i can do i can also run it for for more you can also okay so then what i can do we are going to actually generate one video for that uh, images and this image is stored into the step folder that you can see on the step folder it also is stored and if you see the progress.png file and it also see the progress of your png i think it's not actually fast from here because it is actually running so if you're trying to stop that then it will show the progress.png file right so i am going to actually stop this right now so just click here to fire up this stuff just click on this button and stop and to stop this processing okay so now I'm going to run the code here and let's see how many images is actually generated here. So let's call 140 and also we need to uh, run this command for the from the first cell. Okay, I think uh, we need to also run this shell. This is for required some Python library because we restart a kernel. So that's why it's gone. So now if I'm trying to run this shell, so just this shell view animations. Shift enter and it will trying to generate one video for that and you can see here video is generated and after generating the video you can also see the video in the browser and also you can download the video okay on your local disk so let's see which kind of video that you got okay last human on earth okay that's really cool i think now human is generated for these cases I don't know how it looks like okay so let's see the video your video is being compressed right and it will generate the video soon okay video is ready 
okay file path is not defined i think i need to choose this file path uh the file path is nothing but our video.mp4 that is actually generated here so let's copy this path and i'm going to paste it here the file path and it will show the video and also if i'm trying to download the video and it also give you the file path so let's give you the file path okay so just a second and it will load the video on the browsers and also you can download it you can just click on here and download the video from here and it will also automatically download the video from the google cola so let's wait for a few minutes well our video is ready right now and also the downloading video is also running here so if i'm trying to click here to run this and you can see how the video is looks like okay that's really cool and you can see zoom and this one wow that's really awesome and that's really cool again click and you can see how it's animated wow that's cool yup this one and this clayton and this one wow so that's it for today now so hope you enjoyed this tutorial and also make sure to subscribe my channel and your job is to run this shell again uh, just run these two shell again and see the output how the actually it looks like so that's all for today now